Dang, needs knives. I'm Jared and we have a Leatherman Free here and we're gonna check it out. USA made, 25 year warranty. And the one thing I like about this one is that it's primary a blade and then I like a multi-tool second. And it seems like it's it's really good quality. You can easily one hand open the blade and close it. You can spidey flick it. It did take me a few times to get that down, but once you know you snap it open a few times, it does get a lot smoother. And then the locking mechanism, you know, it's kind of like an access lock. You just kind of pull back, and you can you can do both sides. By the way, it's ambidextrous, and you can reverse the clip. But the blade is a beautiful hollow ground sheep's foot blade seems like it's going to be really good the one downfall is this clip is horribly uncomfortable you holding it like this it, it's bad like really 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 bad i don't think it could be comfortable for anybody however i think the primary grip is going to be like this to open things up and you know or maybe to cut straps like this and in that case it'll work fine and then every once in a while when you do need to slice something like this you'll get by you're going to be uncomfortable but you'll get by now the the like i said one-handed very easy to man manipulate now to going to the other side to the multi-tool area the way you get them out is you have to push this back like hook it so you have to get to all the tools basically pull them all out and then pick one because when they're all open they'll just it'll just close but once you pick one and you decide which one you want it'll lock so now it's locked now, the only way to unlock it is to pull this button back or that button back. Now, if you're lefty, you'll reverse the clip so you'll be able to get to this. But pull that back and then it will close and it locks back in place. Now, these tools were a little tough to pull out at first, but after you do it a few times, it does break in. Now, the scissors snaps open. Once it snaps open, this kind of cranks open like that. Now you can use it and it's locked in place. Very solid, or at least it feels very solid. And then once you disengage it, close that and then close it up. So it seems like it's a pretty good tool. We have the, the little pry bar slash, um, you know, uh, I forget the name of this little tool, but it's a little blade like for wood. Now, then we have a, the scissors and a Phillips Let me see. We got the Phillips and then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a little awl or something, a little flathead, something, uh, you know, whatever you use that for. But now, where's the magnet, right? Where's the magnets in this thing? So I don't think the magnets do much for the blade, but I will show them to you. The magnet is actually right here. That is the magnet. I can feel it grabbing the, the blade or the steel. Maybe that does something for the detent. Maybe not. I'm not sure, but it does for sure for the tools. So when I pull the tools out, it's right there. That little plate right there is the magnet. That's right there. That is the magnet. So when I go to put them back, they actually suck back in. So, you know, there is something, you know, that's kind of satisfying to them being pulled back in by themselves when you uh when you close them up or when you're picking your tool you know it, it kind of it doesn't pull them in too hard you do have to mean to kind of close them but once you get to the last little bit it pulls it in and then here you can watch the tool work see how it locks open right there and you just pull this out of the way to close it you can actually see how it gets over that lock bar. Now, when they're all open, there's um, a thing that stops that from locking all the way in place. So it feels kind of like a double detent right there until I pick one and then it lets them go past. These magnetically close and then I can lock that one open. So pretty cool. Um, and you know, 
You can also build your own on Leatherman's website. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but if you really wanted to customize your own Leatherman, um, it wouldn't be this one. There, It's a different, you know, the kind that fold open like a scissors. You can actually, and maybe there's more. I'm not sure. That's the only one I've seen, but you could pick which tools and where you want them, and that's pretty cool. And they have a lot of different options for you. But as for the magnets in this thing, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty innovative, and I like innovative stuff. Is it that big of a deal on this? I don't know, and I'm not sure if there's anything for the blade, to be honest. I think that's the only real magnet. I've kind of felt around for anything else, and I don't feel anything else that's magnetic. So maybe it helps a little bit as a detent, but maybe not, I'm not sure feels like it's pretty good quality it does feel very solid when it's locked up you know locked open i don't feel any play at all and in my opinion so far from my experience leather leatherman's been the best quality now this i think is going to be very easy to manipulate one-handed you'll be able to to do it one-handed especially once you get it down pat you know, um, it's not going to be like, you know, super comfortable to use in your hand, but that's not what it's for. It's for you to have the tool when you need it, you know, really quick to get the job done, especially if you have this hand occupied holding the thing you're, you're, you know, working on or whatever. The clip seems like it'll work good. Um, I haven't used it yet, but you know, if you want it to be more comfortable in the hand, you can just take it off. However, I think it would work out better in an EDC pouch or even in your pocket with the clip. So I guess, just, you know, that's just a preference thing. It does have a lanyard hole and the button, like I said, is ambidextrous. So if you are left-handed, you just have to flip the clip because otherwise you can't. Like if I have to use the tool, sorry, I keep popping that out. If I have to use these tools left-handed, that's the one problem. Like I, I, I can't do it lefty. I have to use my pointer finger right here, but then I can disengage it. So very cool. I do think it's awesome. And you know, Leatherman is, they have a really good warranty. It's USA made. Uh, you know, the, the tool is really tough and strong and that's kind of the point. A lot of these multi-tools are just such cheap quality. Leatherman, from my experience, does make the better versions. You don't really, from my experience, you know, I wouldn't mess with any other multi-tool, you know, maybe, you know, if you're just going to throw it in an EDC, uh, backpack or something just for, just to have something, that's one thing. But if you want a reliable tool that you're going to be using on a job site or, you know, anything like that, you got to go Leatherman. Um, I'm sure there's a couple other good quality ones out there. People have mentioned a bunch to me. I just haven't experienced them. So there you guys go. Just a first look at this guy. I will be testing it out. I'm not sure if I'll do a full review or not, but I am going to try to link it down in the description for you guys. And we'll see, you know, how I like it. You know, if I, if it winds up being something that i just i have to you know bring back up to you guys then i will but until then i love you guys thank you guys for watching links are below peace